Hello there. It's with sad news that I'll inform you guys that Rekka was checked into a mental asylum. Things were a little bit worse than what he told you. But before they stuffed him in the back of that truck, he yelled me his email and password for this channel because he just loved you guys that much. And he sold it to me for a whopping price of free 99. So here I am. My name is Sad Anime Guy. Because I'm an anime guy who is sad. And I know many of you guys out there are sad too. So why not just talk about how the anime that we watch correlates to our sadness? There's always going to be times in your life, guys, where you feel so depressed, so worthless, so undesirable, and so unloved and unwanted, maybe even lonely, to the point where you don't even want to leave the house anymore. And that's the theme of the anime that we'll be getting into today. My first viewing of Welcome to the NHK left me with really no overwhelming experience personally, but I did walk away understanding who it was for and why so many people resonated with it. Watching it again five years later as a victim of a quarter life crisis and a sufferer of depression, holy f does this hit close to home. I know a lot of people say they're depressed and anxious and whatnot, but it's safe to say when a 25 year old man is laying butt naked in his basement apartment talking to himself, overthinking to the point that he's so overwhelmed he has to call his mother, bawling his eyes out. Yeah, you really know that you're anxious and depressed. So welcome to the NHK. Just a heads up. It's getting kind of redundant and tiring, the generic synopsis type of reviews that we've been doing on YouTube the past 10 to 15 years. So let's just get straight to it. The anime is about a college dropout, slightly schizo, Hikakamori, and the life of times of him breaking out of his degenerative state, so to speak. The director, Yusuke Yamamoto for Studio Gonzo, took the anime in a direction where humor was used to deliver a lot of themes to make it easier to swallow. Whereas any more of a serious tone could have turned this into a darker experience and a totally different anime. Not to say a darker tone wouldn't have worked, I mean the themes are pretty dark, but the more comedic approach made the series a lot more welcoming to viewers who may not relate to the subject matter. Though the story focuses on Sato, who's probably the craziest motherfucker in the show, I mean he's a total mental cell, there's a variety of characters who clearly are meant to depict different variations of people with the same ultimate issue. They're dealing with mental issues. I'm not sure if I took a liking to this just cause I'm currently in a low vibration and the show is pretty much exploiting people vibrating low through its story and characters. Frankly, it's a little scary how many relatable moments of things, you know, were said in here. Things that relate to the way I think and act in my everyday life. The show handles everything from being a recluse to struggling with the opposite sex, unemployment, suicide. There's literally something for everybody. If you're depressed right now and feel completely lost in life, this may help. Bye. <laughs>